Greetings, 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 greetings. What is going on, community? Happy, happy, happy. Mind over matter. Mondays. Yes, yes, yes. New day, new start, new you. Whatever has happened two hours ago, two minutes ago, yesterday, two days ago, it doesn't matter. Only now matters. Peace. Greetings. Greetings. Thank you for tuning in live today. Yes, yes. Bring them in. What's going on, goddesses? Yes, ladies, you need to hear this. If you're getting on here, what I'm about to give you guys is the pussy policy. There's certain qualifications people need to meet. So if you're just getting in here, ladies, what's going on, Vicky? What's going on, Ebony? Please go on. Peace, peace, Mr. Lewis. Um, if you guys are just coming in, please go ahead and like this um, and share this video. Get this word out. This is how we're going to grow as a community when we start to ask ourselves these questions that I'm about to go over today. So just take a moment to share the video. It doesn't cost you any money and it's not harming you to get this information out and be a blessing you know, to the community. So if you're on here live, just go ahead and comment live and let me know, you know which area you are listening in. Um, if you're watching this on replay, uh, just comment replay and let me know what city you're calling in or what state you're uh, tuning in from. So what we're going to talk about a, a little bit tonight is, um, you know, uh, the difference between a relationship and a partnership. And uh, I have to give it to uh, one of my mentors, one of my community trade members, uh, Mr. T. Smith. He had made a similar uh, video and it made me want to make this video because it's something that I'm actually doing myself. So what is the difference between a relationship and a partnership, right? We need to really be coming together. If you're with somebody and you, you call yourself being in a divine partnership, like what are you guys doing? Are you setting goals? Are you setting goals? What do they want to achieve in life? What are their goals? What if their goals don't meet your goals? What are your values? What do you value? Family, loyalty, respect. What do you value? And not just thinking it in your mind, but writing it down, getting clear. What do you value? What are your goals? What are your overall goals? These are questions you need to ask yourself first. And before you come into contact with anybody and ready to lay in the bed with somebody and, and, and ready to have kids with somebody, you need to find out what their goals are. Is. You need to know what their financial goals are. Because when you laying down in the bed with somebody just because they got good sex, like that's overrated now. Sex is overrated. I'm not saying don't go out there and get it. I mean, why not? You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely not saying that. But what I am saying is, you know, doing it with intention, doing it with reverence, doing it with, with intentions. Why are you laying down having sex? What type of intentions are you putting into it? How is your emotional state when you come together with, together with, with your partner? So I am in a partnership, right? A relationship doesn't have goals. You guys are just there relating. You're just learning from each other, but where's the goals? Where do you see uh, yourselves in a year, in six months together? How can you help each other grow? Some people are, are just popping out kids with people and, 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 and shacking up with people not even knowing their goals. What if their goals don't meet your goals? So that should be, so what me and my partner does, and I'll tie it back in, is every Sunday, we have a um, our financial breakdown. So we go through our finances. We see what we have spent over the week, where we need to shift and move money. We really get down and personal. So money sometimes can be a hard subject already on its own. And so two people coming together and pushing through their money blocks and doing this alchemical process together is very, very powerful. So if you're just getting on here, please go ahead and um, share this video. If you love this uh, title that I put on here, share this video. People need to hear this, right? So what we do is every Sunday, we come together, we go over our finances, we have created a money 
a sexy money uh, budgeting system. Uh, we're also going to be sharing it with the community. So if you want to know more about that, please get with me. But every Sunday we go over our finances. We go over our goals. I need to know what she wants and she needs to know what I want so we know how to assist each other in those areas so that we make sure that we're always integrity with our goals. Because if you're not doing things in integrity with your goals, what are you doing? So I need to know where she needs the, the support it, just like she needs to know where I need the support it. So get in down to that how do your goals match suppose you want to be a circus clown but your partner wants to um, be a lawyer and they want to live in the city but you want to live out in the country to be a surface clown those are things you need to ask yourself before y'all get in a relationship how you guys are going to come to the middle and balance that so we go over our goals that's with that's what you do when you're in partnerships, when you're building an empire. I'm building an empire, so I need somebody else in the same boat as me building the empire that sees the vision. Because if they can't see my vision, then why am I with them? Because my vision is to build generational wealth. I am the first millionaire in my generation. And many generations to come. She is too. We're coming together as a collective. This is beyond us. What we're doing is beyond us. We're walking the way to inspire and to get this out to the community so we can start relating differently. So not only do we go over our goals, we go over our values. What are your values? Do you even know what that means? What do you value? Is it your family? Is it like your immediate relationship? Is it your self-love first? Um, do you value, you know, respect, loyalty? What are your seven different things that you value, right? And so what we do is we take you through a whole alchemical process with your partner so that you're able to sit down and get clear. Think about it. You out here having kids with people and the partner that you with don't even have a financial plan. You are already setting yourself up for failure. If you are already struggling to get stuff together financially and then your partner is struggling financially, that's something that y'all need to fix before y'all bring birth into this reality and put them through the same cycle. So if we would just get out of our sex organs and get more into our hearts and honor ourselves before we just open ourselves up divinely. I call it the pussy policy. Shoot, you can call it policy. And I'm being blunt with you because you know I'm straight up. This is authentically me, right? So women, you need to set people through the pussy policy first before you even let them come up into your divine womb. Okay, they good in bed. And so what else can they do? That's cute. You can meet people out there good in bed. That's cute. What else can you do? Wow, he's good in bed. He got a, 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 a thing as big as whatever. Who cares about that? She got a fat ass. Her titties big. Who cares? We got to get out of that 3D stuff. It doesn't even matter what that outside stuff look at. Because she got a fat ass, but what her financial literacy looking like? What her bank account looking like? Is her money growing money for her? Is she expanding her mind or is she bringing you down? These are things you need to ask yourself. In your current relating status, do you guys go over your finances with each other daily? We do financial goals daily. That's the only way you're going to be able to be wealthy and, um, and have the knowledge and the literacy is to live it, is to walk it like you talk it. That's my theme song, like walk it like I talk it. Gotta walk it like I talk it because I'm speaking it and I'm walking it. I'm experiencing it. And by me experiencing it, I'm able to share it. I'm able to help everybody else in the community bring some more reverence and unity to your relationships so you're not just out there popping out kids. Like I truly understand why certain countries have a minimum on how many kids people can pop out. Yes, I get it. It's your free will. 
you should be able to do whatever that you want to do, right? But if you are complete, if you're just continuing to do the same cycle of not having any financial uh, literacy, not being organized, not um, being able to know what real union is and real love is, you're going to create the same cycle. Think about it. So look at the perception from many different views instead of just one view. Another thing is, you know, relationships and partnerships. Partner partnerships is about growing. It's about expanding. You have to think about it. You're learning and that other person's learning. You can't be getting mad at petty stuff. Who is that that keep liking your Facebook page? Who is that new person you got subscribed to your YouTube that's all always sending you hearts? That's petty stuff. That's petty. We leave in relationships for petty stuff. Okay, when you got you a diamond, when you got you a rare mineral that can't be touched and that cannot be replaced or duplicated, you need to keep that that partnership. Relationships, you just leave over some petty stuff. You're not talking about it. You're not communicating openly. You're not stating your needs. When we don't state our needs, we are not living authentically and we are leaving fake. That's what causes people to cheat because they're not stating their needs. They're not having enough courage to come to their partner and say, look, this is what it is and this is what I need and and then and then oh, and then give the space for it to happen. You're not giving the space for it to happen. You're basically just like these are my needs. He or she's not meeting them. I'm not telling them, but I'm still going to go out and cheat anyway. And then you go and mess up a perfectly good relationship because you're not communicating effectively, right? So I know that I have a rare gem. So I'm going to do my damnness to grow this relation, this, this partnership from a relationship. I'm going to make sure that I pour my time and my energy to invest into that because that's an investment. When you with somebody, that's a trust. That's a bond. That's abundance. When you, when you spiritually tie yourself to somebody and you go down to the court and you sign those papers, wow, that's a connection that you are doing with that person. You need to really think twice before going out and just getting married willy-nilly and you ain't do no goals. What are your goals? What can they provide for you before you lay down and they sexy and they this and that? That's cute. That's surface level stuff. I get it. I like to look at that stuff too. But at the end of the day, it really don't matter because it's what's in that mind. Let me see what your mind looking like. Turn me on with your mind. Let's talk financial talk. When we talk about finances on Sunday and we get clear with our goals, that's fucking sexy. That turns me on right there. Light a nice little candle, hit that incense, put some intentional music on, and let's get clear. That's the type of stuff that made me want to um, uh, marry somebody or makes me want to get in the bed and, and make intentional love with. Those are the type of things that get me going. You know, the outside stuff is cute. I get it. But what are your goals? And so, you know, opening, like opening clearly. Because like the Sunday, the whole part of Sunday is very ritualistic and it's for our evolution and our growth. So, you know, even in the morning time, we do something called an ash circle. An ash circle is where we let spirit come in. We let our ego set aside and we speak our needs. We talk and we talk openly. There's no judgment. However I'm feeling, I need to let it come out because if I don't let it come out, then I'm going to let it build up, build up, build up, and then it's going to go bam, right? That's because we're not communicating because we're afraid of what the next person is going to say if we express our needs. And yes, it feels uncomfortable. It feels sticky. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't tell them that. But by you not telling them that and by you not expressing yourself, you're making it worse. So we make sure that we also 
express how we're feeling. That's the only way we're going to be able to relate and grow. I I can't know that, you know, you like to wake up in the morning and just be quiet for an hour if you don't tell me. I'm a, I might be loud and singing and doing everything, and it might actually irritate that person because they didn't openly communicate. So communicate. Those are things that partnerships do. Partnerships, they communicate. They work on their garden because relationships partnerships are gardens so it starts from a relationship that you keep watering and giving the sunlight and giving it love and not judging it and then it grows into a partnership that's what we want we would have i really feel like we would have less single parents if we came at it at a different approach get to be they they friend first before you hop in bed with them. Get to be their friend first before you trying to get married and have kids. That's what we're doing it wrong. Instead, we're letting our physical needs get in the way and we just hopping in bed having sex. And then, you know, a lot of people don't use, like to use protection because then they're in their relationship. They're like, I love him. I don't need no condom or I don't need to, you know, cause there's other ways you could do it without doing condoms, you know? so. Instead of being like, oh, I love this person, that's cute, but what are their goals? You know what I'm saying? What are their goals? So flipping it, being their friend first, learning their goals, what are their values? How can they bring something to the table that expands you instead of taking away from you? Then hop in the bed with them. They have passed the pussy policy or the dick policy by then. Then you can think about making love and making love in intention. What are you making love to? Are you setting the scenery? Are you lighting candles? Are you sitting down with your partner and first seeing what y'all want to come together and orgasm off of like these are things that we we have to ask ourselves don't be having sex just to have sex just because it feels good i get it it feels good cool what else can it do it can help you manifest what you want in your reality that's uh, an orgasm is positive love energy. What are you doing with it? Are you just wasting it because you just having sex just to have sex without an intention? These are things you need to ask yourself. When you're in a relationship, you make love with no intentions. You're just doing it just to do it. You're not setting up the scenery. You're just going in and going out. That's it. You're coming and, you're, and then that's it. That's us. That's it. You know, so bring some reverence to that, you know, set t time aside to be intimate and know that making love and being intimate. What I'm learning is it, it's more than just physical S making a breakfast outside. Sometimes I just set a breakfast up for my partner. That's making love. I'm making love to her stomach. I'm infusing intentions into the food. I'm giving thanks and gratitude for us having the food. I'm speaking prayer over the food. All of that is going into her body. Make love to your partner through food, through leaving them a simple little note. Write them a little note. Throw it in their, um, in their bag before they go to work. Send it to them in a text message. Start being a little bit more intimate in different ways. It's not all physical. And that's what I'm really learning because I am a very primal being also. I'm a very physical being. Like I have a lot of chi, so I'm always pumped up. So I'm learning ways to express that sexual energy in other ways that's not per se always physical because the physical is dope. You know, it's dope. But what is the mental like? I'm more turned on and aroused by the mental state. What can we grow together? Can we really build this? We are building our uh, our 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 in our in, in, empires together. You know, two empresses building a legacy together. You know, choosing to love the way we want to love authentically because love doesn't have a name. It's love. How can it be defined or classified? How can it be judged and only saying that it's only love if, it's only love if, I only love you if. No, love is unconditional, undefined, unfiltered, pure, raw 
energy. It doesn't have a classification. It is what it is, okay? So I'm not going to make this video long. I just really wanted to come on here and just tell you just to widen your perception. And just take things a little different. I feel like we'll have less single parents if we get into these relationships knowing that they're going to form into partnerships and start out as friends first you really get to see what you're working with because after that honeymoon phase is up after that three to six months is up and the honeymoon is gone and everything is just like real are you still going to be there can you stand the rain can you stand the rain when the sun is gone that's what you need to ask yourself before you put a ring on it. Because fuck what Beyonce said, if you like it, put a ring on it. No. If you love me unconditionally, put a ring on it. If you can fuck with my goals, put a ring on it. Those are things you need to ask yourself because doing that, you're going to create a boss partnership. You're going to create a real empire right and so what i'm doing and what me and my beautiful partner shanti gumbo is doing is we're walking this walk for the community so that everybody else we're just basically paving the way we're doing the hard work we're doing the trial and error so that we're able to come up with a system that is duplicatable because systems save you time and money when you have a system in place you can go live on autopilot so if anybody's interested, we're going to be doing a beta testing where we're basically going to be tied into the community and we're going to be basically paying for you to get your relationship and your finances together. That's our special tied into the community. I'm a big advocate in um, tied into the community. So one of the ways that I'm going to tie to the community is helping uh, couples um, learn about uh, relation relating into partnerships and also getting your finances together and start to build an empire because that's what we are doing right now, right here. We are definitely walking into the path of financial freedom. I have a special announcement to make. I am one payment short of being 100% debt free, meaning I don't pay any money out besides the rent right now of where I'm at, right? Which is about to change and it's going to be changing into owning a home. But I have accomplished nearly one payment away for achieving my goal, paying off all of my credit cards, paying off my car loan. I don't even have a car payment anymore, right? No car payment at all no car insurance i'm paying so literally living a financial liberation living a financial liberation that's why i started the my life financial liberation campaign because it's about your financial liberation it's about my financial liberation it's about our financial liberation together for liberating yourself from debt is the way to go so thank you very much for tuning in live and direct getting this information Share this video really that's how we start to come together and support each other as a community by accommodating by sharing people's information you may not be in a relationship you may not have even thought this was very helpful but you may know somebody else that this can help so share the wealth all I am here is doing is sharing blessings share the blessings with somebody else that's all. It's really that simple. If you're watching this live, please comment live and let me know where you are um, uh, tuning in from, which state, which country. If you're watching this on the replay, hey, put replay. Let me know. Tag somebody in this. Just get this word out, you guys, okay? So this is Isis Love tuning out live and direct from the beautiful, beautiful sunny weather of Mexico. Peace out.